start to remove their confidence, which I said is is everything. Guys, have you guys seen that like that one catchphrase that on on, on social media they'll say like swing to duplicate. You ever see that? Guys will swing to duplicate the best hitter. Who, who, who says that? I don't, who is the guy who says that? I don't know. There's a couple of guys that say, that say so I won't mention your name. I haven't, I'm not, I haven't heard anybody say that. I've seen that, but they say swing to duplicate. And I had a long conversation with Lance Wheeler about this. And I, I, cause I sorry guys, like, sorry, hold on. I apologize the entire day. I, uh, I have been out of form. Don't bring you, don't bring All right, now we're good. Now, oh, dang. Look, I hate to influence y'all poorly, but. So I kept on trying to figure out what these guys were talking about. Sometimes I get frustrated when I see these catchphrases. I'm saying, why would I want him to look exactly like him? Why? Because he's a better hitter? Oh, all right, cool. So then, but Lance Wheeler brought this, uh, he's another guy that, that I talk to quite often. He said, if, if, if I give Cass a, a piece of paper and I tell him to write his signature, just sign your name 10 times in a row, he can't duplicate his own signature. I guarantee you, not one out of ten, not two out of ten will be exact. They'll be a little on the on the C. It'll be a little swoop. So, if I'm asking him to sign his name and his signature, how is that ever going to happen, right? So, but, oh, go ahead. is not a perfect swing. There's there's no perfect swing. No, no chance. Kids are in search of the perfect swing. There, it doesn't exist. On what pitch? I, right. I, I get more side view videos with no with no pitcher with no arm action with no timing. And I'm like, like Wait, you, we agree. Trust, trust, best player in the big leagues. Sure. Okay, so show me ten different swings, all right, homer swings yeah. on ten different pitch speeds and locations, and show me the ones that look the same. They're all, like there's similarities. His load is probably the same, but when the swing gets off to a different pitch location, different speed, it's going to look different. How am I going to create one perfect thing if the best player on earth has multiple different movements, right? And that's where I said where the problems come, all right? Is the problem come in the beginning so that we can get off, like Tuke said, multiple different variations of that same movement to cover different pitch speeds and different pitch locations, all right? But there, there is no one thing. And I know with the, the slack and spacing of Josh's swing, we get so focused on it and he'll obsess over it sometimes. It's like, hey, bro, like you're gonna bang with what you're doing, all right? Don't get so obsessed with one small, minute thing Right, that's not going to make that big of a difference if you stop swinging at bad pitches. Kind of context there. So also another way to think of it, uh, another way of thinking about it is like uh, every day when you get in your car and you drive to work, you usually take the same route every single day, right? But with that being said, sometimes when you're driving to work, uh, there might be a car in front of you that's moving a little slow. Maybe there's an accident, maybe something like that, and you have to change lanes. Maybe you have to take a, a small alteration in your route and go around this another street and come back on the same road. The same thing to talk about that is like you look at like Trout. Like for example, if you close your eyes, you can see Griffey swing. You close your eyes, you can see Mike Trout swing. They literally so much that when uh, um, when uh, TPI and uh, Ambe Shi when they put out a uh, three, uh, 3D like uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, skeleton of like Trout. Everybody on, online was like, that's Trout, immediately. Like earlier this year, I think it was like, uh, it wasn't Arenado, it was, um, what's his name? Anyways, it was uh, uh, Tr uh, Trevor Story, right? They put out another one and I was like, that's Trevor Story. It's like, I don't need to see his face, like because he moves and again, the mannerisms, all those other things that are there. So like with that, it's like, yes, there is a, there is a route that I'm taking, right? That is very similar and unique to me. Like for example, if I put you on kinematics and I'm, and I'm gonna measure you on uh, k vest something like that, you have a movement signature. When I put you on force plates, you have a force signature. I can say, hey, I can see that, that signature and be like, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably this guy. That's probably this guy, that's probably this guy. Because again, we do move generally the same every single swing, but there is alternation, there is alterations and slight differences between each swing because of different pitches, depths, you know, situations, yada, 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 yada. Yeah. You're educated as a hitter. My, like, I think you would say, I want him to be educated. I want him to know him so that he can go, okay, when shit hits the fan, this is what I need to do. Not go find the patchwork, right? Fields have expiration dates. Like, because like my field this week might be top end. My field next week might be land early. My field next week might be get on my heel. Like, and to be able to go explore those things by myself, like the 2015 Toronto Blue Jays are arguably the best offense in the last 30 years, right? I got to be a part of that. The hitting coach never said shit. Like, we all just did our own thing. And you're looking at guys and their journeys, right? Josh Donaldson, even though he was a first rounder, well, like he, he's, openly says, like, I was the worst hitter in baseball the first time I came up to the big league. Jose Bautista got DFA'd by five teams. Edwin Encarnacion wasn't born a superstar. Like, you had guys like myself, uh, Kevin Pillar, 
that we just had to figure it out, right? So literally, the hitting coach had the best job ever. He says he sat there and gave us high fives and then pumped us up when we needed a, a talk every now and then. He literally didn't do anything. We just literally like relied on each other. We relied on ourselves. And I, I always use the example of, of, of Jose, Josh, and myself, right? And I, I literally use those 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 three directions because Jose is like more full. If you think about Jose Batista, he was like dead full, and his swing was clean as a whistle. But it worked for that up and in, anything in. Sam Dyson knows really well because the bat's still in orbit, so like it's you know whatever. Um, like you threw a sinker down and in to Jose Batista, like good luck. So I was like watching the matchup. I'm like, yay! Like I'm glad Donaldson didn't ground in a double play. And then you take Josh, who's more of like the, the middle of the field. It, like sometimes he'd get left centery, but like and you, you look at the three of us, and then I was more right center, right? Like Jose hit for a little lower average, super productive. Josh was kind of both, like 290 with like 40, like Cozy hit, like probably slugged a little more. And then I was like the other way and I hit a little higher average because I always wanted to hit for average. That was like who I was my whole life. All three really good swings and the, and the comp I use now, current moment, is like Xander Bogarts and JD Martinez are on the same team. They both have really good swings, they're both completely different, but they're exactly the same. That's the weirdest line I could ever use because JD wants to hit everything over there, Xander wants to hit everything over there. I take both of them in my foxhole, I'll tell you that much, like I put them both on my team, but it's because they're both obsessed with being great. And they know how to go find the thing that they need to find in the moment they need to find it. And we're all vulnerable, we're all like, we're all vulnerable to, to, to bad stuff. When I, when I started being able to really put it together was I just learned to care enough to not care. If there's one line I want you to take from here, like the first time you ain't hitting in your career, like, got to be able to step away and go, I, you know what, I'm okay, like I'm gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's all gonna work out. It's gonna be what it'll be and I'm gonna be the best version of myself today. Whether that means I got 70 in the tank or 110, that's fine. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Like any question? So, um, Bo Bichette is like one of my favorite players in the league right now and his dad, Dante, said that like hitting is really just about the mentality of like, you know, you have to at the end of the day, you want to squash the baseball. Like you want to hit it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been waiting. I got hella questions, so. Uh, but he's like, you know, you want to like hit the ball. That's how. That's like should be the mentality. But just like, yeah, like you want to squash the baseball. And that's what he would say. And for me, when I hit with my brother a lot, I find that the times that I hit the ball the hardest, I literally feel like I'm just. Like, no, zero about, effort. Can I tell you something about that? I want you to be able to go. But I have, Dante's a really close friend with Bo. Yeah. The Blue Jays to this day thank us for like saying yes on Bo. They kept asking me, they're like, what do you got on Bo? What do you got on Bo? What do you got on Bo? I'm like, like his, his moves are so big, his moves are so big. I was like, guys, it doesn't matter. Like, it does not matter. Bo's going to figure it out. Yeah. Bo, and one of the things that Dante said, you need 5,000 at bats before you're ready to be a big league hitter. You need 5,000 at bats. So what did Dante do with Bo when he was little? He said, swing hard in case you hit it. And then he just kept challenging him more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And like Bo just figured it out because he had that in his yeah. system. So the idea, I think, what you're trying to get at, like Bo learned how to hit the ball hard first and then back off. Now, well, yeah. Would you agree that like, that's true. like we want, like that's, if you're gonna err, err on the side of that, because now we can always peel back the layer and say like, okay, now you're figuring out like, a little bit less, right? Is that, is that fair? Well, my, my question